Welcome to More MMR, the best platform to learn from top tier players like Resolution, you will be able to get better at the game and gain a lot of MMR. Also with the free analytics, you can track your performance and get better. Use promo code MAG to sign up and get 25% discount. Hello guys, my name is Mark and welcome to the past 7.13. So yes, they released the update today and we were going to talk about it. So before we do that, remember guys to subscribe and also turn that notification button for more videos. So let's start the patch with the first new thing. So these are the general changes. They didn't buff or nerf any hero. There's some general changes that we will talk about it. One of them is ages. Now, you know, there's a tooltip that can, you know, pronounce ages. So you can say ages, it's not ages like uh, Bulldog pronounce it, so it's ages. Also, now there's something with the towers. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3 and Tier 4, the bounty gold is reduced for, you know, for when you kill the, the tower. Now from 100 and, uh, 120 to 100, from 200 to 120, uh, uh, from 200 to 140 for the Tier 2 and Tier 3 and also from, uh, for Tier 4 from 200 to 160. So that's a big nerf actually uh, for the tower uh, because I will give you a reason for that but after I finish this one. Also the range barracks now. The bounty reduced from 151 to 100 and the filler, the small buildings you know, the bounty also reduced from 125 to 75. Now this thing means that your team is going to get less gold, especially your support. So the support won't benefit a lot from you know, the uh, getting less gold because the, what is important about getting towers is map control and you know the bounty gold that you get for your support especially because now the, it will create a big, ca a big gap or I mean before it used to create a big gap between you and the enemy in terms of net worth but now that's not gonna happen because you will get less, uh, less net worth from the, uh, from the towers so yes the tower is still important only more I would say hey didn't get the tower pushing is not important no no it's you know Pushing is important because pushing will, you know, give you a uh, map advantage. So also to win the game. Also now, uh, the range creep average gold bound to reduce from uh, 70, uh, 57 to uh, uh, 54. Also now, the glyph duration increased from 5 to 6. The melee barracks HP increased to 300. Now, this is from 1500 to 1800. This is big uh, buff, actually, uh, to the barracks HP. Also, the shrine. Now, the shrine increased from 1500 to 1750. Also, the shrine. Now, they have, like, region. They have 5 HP region, which means they will region like your melee. I'm not talking about the percentage of the HP. No, I mean, like, they will region like the melee barracks. Also, getting the towers or getting the, the raxes it's gonna be more hard because it's really hard to stage high ground now with many racks fucking cost like 800, 800 HP now? That's that's insane man. So it's really hard to push like high ground and make the you know the tower look so delicious and you know even the melee racks look so easy. So now you really, you will take more effort to you know uh, get the racks. So also now they use get levels from level 20 at uh, level t uh, 12 to f uh, 25. So this is the respawn curve. So when you die, you know, and you want to respawn, there's a time for respawning time. So this is the uh, the respawn time curve to be slightly less in early game and the same on late game. Which means in the early game, you will, you know, uh, from like they increase, they decreased it like from uh, 48 to 44, which is good. But from like level 20, which is uh, like uh, from uh, 78 to 80 so it's kind of like they made it a little bit longer and level 21 le uh, level 21 level 22 level 23 and 24 and the same for level 25 which is 100 second now also they remove hero class specific uh, specific uh, perks and uh, the bounces uh, the bonuses now affect all the classes also they remove the status resistance which is something great that they removed uh, finally they did remove this shit because now people will less fucking spam tiny or mr toony because like tiny with status resistance that's just an insane because you don't die in void chrono because of your status resistance so also they rebalance strength and int and also agility. So I will talk about it like below. And also now primary attribute now provide 25% 25, 25 from that, you know, like 
if you got one agility, one strength, or one uh, intelligent, you get 25%, and it depends on your hero. So now let's check what they change. So this is the old strength, this is the new strength, and this is for the strength heroes. If you get one strength, in the old one, you get 20, uh, 20 health, 0.7 HP region, 0.15 status resistance. Now, in the new one, you get 18 health. But wait, wait a second. If you are like a strength hero, you get 22.5. So this is like a plus 25% because you are strength. In terms of HP, also you get like uh, 68. Also magic resistance. Now, instead of just, you know, status resistance. So you get like 0.1 from 0 0.08. 0.10 so they buffed everything by 25% for every single hero also the same with the intelligent the old one give you 12 uh, mana 2 mana region uh, 0.07 spell amplification also 0.15 magic resistance now in the new one they will give you 12 mana but hold on because you are an intelligent hero you will get 15 that's 25% more also from 1.8 mana region to 2.25 because you are intelligent so you get more also, the spell amplification, you will get more by 25% from 0 0.07 to 0 0.087, which is a kind of a real nice buff to the, all the heroes. Also, from the old agility, now from uh, 0 0.17 armor, this is one agility, this is one intelligence, one strength. So, all, uh, so remember, guys. Uh, now, it will give you 0 0.17 armor, one attack speed, 0 0.06 movement speed. Now, the new one, it will give you 0.16 armor, which means 25% will give you 0.20. So that's a really good buff for every agility hero. You, you have a good uh, a good ass armor. Also now the attack speed, it will get buffed because 25% from 1 to 1.25 because you are an agility hero. And also for the movement speed, the same, they will give it like 25% uh, also. So from 0.05 to 0.62. So that's a really good buff. So in this patch, they buffed the buildings. They made the uh, the less uh, the gold on the towers are less. So now there's a chance for you to come back in game because you know it's not about only getting towers. Uh, like if the enemy make a some mistakes, uh, you can easily win the game and snowball because the towers doesn't matter that much. Yes, it matters in terms of pushing and you know getting objectives. Because getting objective equal winning the game. If you don't push and you don't split push much harder to get the objective, that means it's just stupid, you know, to not do that. So try to, you know, play as the same. Don't be like, oh, towers doesn't matter. Uh, we will just farm camps. No, please don't be that kind of moron. So you need to get towers as well in this patch. So that's it for the day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and also tell me what is the best buff in this you know new patch. What do you think about this patch in the comments below? And also, guys, don't forget to follow me on my social media like Facebook, Twitter, and you know, even Twitch. Because I stream almost or let's say I stream every day. Because I play some ranked games, I play some also other games like I don't know, PUBG or whatever guys you like. So I hope you guys will enjoy the stream. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.